Hello, got some 5th gen goodness here, and oh my gosh, I'm uploading more than one battle per week? What madness is this? So, I got some new internet, and I'll be able to upload more. So he leads off with the Dragonite, I lead off with my ever capable do the, uh, the Deoxys S. Go for the Stealth Rock straight away, he goes for the Waterfall straight away. A little bit surprising coming from, you know, a Dragonite, and I don't see any life orb, it's starting to get a little bit suspicious. So I go for the Psyshock to break the multi scale. He goes for another waterfall, and you see he doesn't have leftovers either. So this isn't one of those weird roosting ones, and it's not a setup in one. So I'm guessing he's choice banded. <sighs> so he takes up my Deoxys S after I get maybe one or two layers of specs, I forget. Going to Cresselia, he predicts the Ice Beam and goes into his Mammoth Swine. So, this is a fine matchup for me. So I go for the Ice Beam, takes the Mammoth Swine down, it does like one fourth, but you know, that's decent enough for something with bad special attack. And I go for the Toxic, which misses, which is very unfortunate because that means that he'll be able to get one more turn off, and you'll see why that's important a little bit later. So I go for the Toxic again, he goes for the Stone Edge actually, uh, I guess he's hoping for a crit, but he switches back into Icicle, Icicle Crash. And uh, that brings me down quite low, and I'm going to go for the Moonlight here, bring myself back to over half, which is very helpful. And here's why that extra turn mattered, where I missed the Toxic, because he goes for the Stone Edge, and you guessed it, watch my HP go down, he got a crit. But it doesn't really matter, because I didn't take that much from it, and also I just Moonlight back up right here, and um, yeah, I'm almost at full, not quite at full. But I'm also uh, blah, 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 almost at full. So it goes into Crookshanks, and here's where it gets stally. So I'm gonna speed this up a little bit more. So he goes for the sub, I go for the light screen. Now I'm gonna go for the ice beam as he sets up the calm mind. And eventually uh, I'm gonna break his sub, and then you'll see what happens from there. So calm minding and ice beaming, and here I'm thinking, oh crap, he's probably gonna set up and. Maybe destroy my whole team, but you'll see why he doesn't. So eventually substitute fades, I go into ditto, copy his stat changes, and now he goes for the sub again, as I go for the Thunderbolt next turn. Fortunately my light screen wears off right at that time, and he goes for the hidden power. Now I go for Thunderbolt because 95 times 1.5 divided by 2, that's stab and then not very effective, is more than 70, which is what the base power is of hidden power. So I go into Windows 98, I don't know why, probably because I'm retarded, and then I die to a Thunderbolt. <laughs> so, fail. There's your little cameo of Windows 98 there. Uh, go for the Mach Punch, just to get some more damage off, and he Thunderbolts me and kills me. And yeah, fail. So, Ditto comes out again to save the day. So, go for the Thunderbolt here, and thankfully, I get the Paralyze. So, this is very good for me, although I wish it would have happened a little bit earlier. Maybe I could have finished him off with Infernape or Porygon Z or something like that. So, I go for the second Thunderbolt. Doesn't quite kill him. And the thing is, um, because of pressure and because Ditto only can, um, only can get 5 PP per move, because that's just how Ditto works, I actually run out of Thunderbolts here. So I'm going to be forced to switch into Cresselia. Uh, because I think I'll outspeed it after it's paralyzed. So, I get smacked in the face with some electricity, and that does quite a bit, but he can't sum up, he's already paralyzed, so he's not that threatening anymore. I go for the ice beam, get a crit, and this mattered, because I did not want to get that crit, because I would have gone back into Ditto after Cresselia died and then swept his team with my amazing stat changes and choice scarf. But no, I had to get a crit at the worst possible moment I could have gotten a crit but anyway this Cresselia goes for the uh, uh, this Arcanine this puppy flare blitzes me and it's choice banded and I still live so Cresselia you are a monster and yes so I'm just kind of soaking up these flare blitzes and I'm gonna go for the moonlight to stall this dude out until he kills himself with recoil that that sounded really stupid. Uh, so, flare blitzing, moonlighting, and so I'm getting stalled out quite a bit here, and I'm running out of moonlights. So I think I only have like two left or something. So flare blitz, bam, 
take it like a beast, moonlight, and he dies, puppy fainted, which is kind of sad because <laughs> imagine seeing a puppy faint, like, it would be running around all spastically and then suddenly just drop down. <sighs> okay. Toxic. And, yeah. So, this Azimaril is probably choice banded. He likes to use choice banded waterfalls on me, doesn't he? So, does under half. So, I'm going to go for the Ice Beam again because I outspeed. So, I'm guessing this is like 252 HP, 252 attack, choice banded. And I'm going to go for the Moonlight here. I think this is my last Moonlight. But it's all good. It's all good because I'm going to stall this dude out with Toxic. And we're both going to have like. I think we're both down to our last, are we? I am not sure. So, waterfalls me, and I ice beam. Let's wait for that to happen, because I'm getting ahead of myself. Yes! Ice beam does nothing, and waterfall does a lot. But I still live it, because I'm a monster, and poison hurts him. Now, he dies. Which is a little bit annoying, because I would have gotten more leftovers. So he's down to two Pokemon, I'm down to Cress and Terrakion, who actually is level 100, like... He's, he's level 100 now, guys. So, oh wait, no, ditto first. So I go for the Earth Power, I'm like, I'm Scarfed, I'm gonna kill you. And then, no, he Scarfed too, and he won the speed tie. And then, yeah, that cost me the game. Spoilers, so, Teriyaki, uh, level 100 now, not level 12. Go for the Sword Stance, take out the Dragon Knight with a Stone Edge, and then since he is Scarfed, he will be taking me out with a Earth Power. Unfortunately. So, that was a good game. It really came down to that speed tie. If I won the speed tie, I would have won the game. Since you won the speed tie, you won the game. But it's no big deal because it was fun, and fun is what matters. Uh, see you guys later. Comment, rate, subscribe, and peace out.